Six and a half million cubic meters of magma has now accumulated and is flown toward the seal that is formed under the Sorsengi. This is the chart of the harmonic tremors. These two dips are a signal that the earthquake storm is going to happen. We see evidence for some bigger earthquakes that are near the surface. And the earthquakes, as usual, moving from the west toward the east. You could see that. And the magnitude is the right amount, 1, 2. These are the amounts that we are seeing here. When we look at the depth of the earthquakes, this is what we see. The depth of the earthquake are at the 5 to 2.5 kilometer, and some of them are at the surface of very shallow depth, 100 meter, 50 meter. You can see, when I turn it around, this diagram, you can see the shape of the dike. Dike is a wall, a crack in the ground, we call a fault line, where the magma is filled up between the cracks, between the pulverized and crushed rocks, and forming this. These are the earthquakes showing the movement of the fault line where the magma can rise there. Magma is present, as I was told, uh, six and a half uh, uh, million cubic meter is flowing into this uh, area under the Sorsengi and those areas around it. We can illustrate that by this uh, source of the magma to the left, the red part, forming a seal rising at the Sorsengi and through the seal, feeding the dike, which is coming at the near the surface in the graben. We had in the Sundunka, Hagofell. Now we will have it in the Hagofell again, north of north part of the Hagofell, reaching the ground at that level. Between the earthquake storms and this reaching of the ground and eruption is only f uh, last time in January was five hour, and before that it was one and a half hour in December. As you can see here is a close-up of the dike, very similar to what I showed at the depth of the earthquakes. This is the area I believe the eruption happens this time, something between Sundunka and Hagafell, north of the Hagafell. Mostly flows toward the south, a little bit toward the north uh, east, and some of it is slightly toward the north, toward the Sword Sengi. Not much of it. The eruption is imminent. We can see it practically. Last time we were in this, such a situation, just within two hours, we had the eruption. I have that video that I made just in that time, and you can watch it after this video. You can compare the chart, tremor charts and everything with the current situation for the eruption in that Hagafell area. Eruption seems as it started. We have the tremors chart showing the sharp rise in the harmonic tremors. The magma line and the tectonic line both have risen sharply. This is like the December 2023 eruption. As you can see, we have a huge number of the earthquakes in the Reckoness uh, area to the uh, north of the Grindavik to um, uh, Sundunka crater area. We have a similar pattern to what we had also in the past, uh, in the December 23, with the uh, tremors uh, and earthquake chart in this case. Uh, the land is yet continuing to rise. But what is interesting is the fat, big uh, earthquakes at the depth shown in this uh, uh, 3D chart. Compared with a few hours ago, there was almost nothing as if. And that shows eruption is near the surface, earthquake, magma, everything is near the surface. At the surface, we see these lights. The weather is not good. We have no good visibility. But any moment, we may see something like this. What we are seeing, what we have seen in the Sundunka eruption in 2023. This image is from that time. So we are waiting. I'm monitoring the situation. I will report it immediately to you when I see the first light.